Welcome back. It is 9.45 right now on Q13 News this morning. You know him as exchange student Rory Flanagan from the hit TV show Glee right here on Fox. And he's performing tonight in Seattle with Celtic Thunder. And he's going to help us get into the holiday spirit. Joining me now, recording artist Damien McGinty. Good morning, Damien. How are you? I'm good. How are it's you? Good to see you. Thanks for having me. Oh, we're happy to have you. We were just listening to a little bit of your album. It's called yes. This Christmas Time. It is. What was it like recording that? What were some of your favorites? Um, it was uh, it was awkward because we recorded it in like April. So um, <laughs> so that's that's the real truth about it. But uh, no, I mean it was it's been a fun project. We've been working on it all year. We sort of came up with a concept and decided we want to do it literally January. So it was sort of closer to obviously last Christmas right. than what it was this. Um, so, and then we got our producer on board, Warren Hewitt, who's produced The Fray and Daniel Powder and oh, wow. a number of big artists. So getting him on board was a real bonus. Um, and we sat down and we sort of picked the set list. Um, we've got eight standards on there, ranging from Christmas Baby Please Come Home to It's Beginning to Look a Lot Like Christmas. And then we've written two songs for it as well, oh, wow. called Irish Christmas and uh, Will You Dance With Me This Christmas Time. Is there, are, is there a particular song that takes you back to your childhood in particular growing um, up? I mean, yeah, I think, you know, it's sort of the song River is mm -hmm. always a, one of my favorites. It sort of takes me back to, you know, sort of my grandfather and sort of growing up around him around Christmas. Um, and then some of the classics, I mean, Hallelujah as well, which is not necessarily a Christmas song, but it's felt like a nice sentiment to have it on there. And we did like a sort of like a darker ghostly version of oh, it almost. Wow. So that's sort of and Silent Night is always, you know, I used to be six years old in a choir boy oh, wow. um, singing that in chapel. So uh, that takes me right back for sure. I think that's why people love Christmas music so much is there's a little bit of nostalgia there. Absolutely. Uh, Absolutely. Pe people loved watching you on Glee and you joined the cast through the Glee Project. Yes. So was that, I, anytime there are auditions or a reality show to get on, yeah. I always think, oh my gosh, how do people get through their nerves? Like how, how was that experience for you? So, I mean, it was, it was, it was a strong experience. Uh, I, <laughs> it was strong. I, I was very hesitant to go into that in, um, in the beginning before it sort of all began because you know I've been with Celtic Thunder for four years sort of creating a, a profile and foundations for myself mm -hmm. um, as a platform for a performer to sort of keep going and growing and have a bit of longevity and then this reality show Chance came along and I was 18 or 19 I was like I, I really don't know if I want to risk a credible <laughs> four years that I've sort of built um, on a reality show where I could honestly make a fool of myself. It's quite possible. Um, so, uh, so, but I, I sort of sat down and the producer spoke to me and they told me that, um, that this wasn't a normal reality show where you know you have public vote and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. This is, we're gonna bring you in. It's like a boot camp. We're gonna give you the tools and you're gonna go away and learn how to, how to do and it works what for we you. need. So I was like, I fancy a challenge. So I ended up doing it. And yeah, it worked. I ended up winning. It was a lot of luck, a lot of right place, right time. Um, I guess it was just meant to be, but then I won seven episodes on Glee and I think oh I gosh. did. 24 or 25 or something like oh that gosh. over two years so and now here you are with your own album you have another album of original songs that you're yes. working on I hear yes yeah so I, I've been writing that for about three years um, we are planning it's it's kind of hard to put a time frame on it because I'm not gonna put it out there until I'm like happy with it because an original record is something that you know you can put out a record of covers or do, do whatever sure. you want but an original album is very different you're crafting the entire thing from the ground up including your own sound, including lyrics, everything about it. So I think it's going to be ready next autumn. Okay. I'm excited about it. And uh, that's, you know, that's why we did the Christmas album. This is beginning the cycle of releasing records for me as a, as a future solo artist. Well, congratulations on all of your success. Thank you. And people can see you tonight in Celtic Thunder. Yeah, so I'm, I'm here tonight in Celtic Thunder, and then, which is great. I think the show sold out. We're at the... Um, what's the theater called? The Paramount Theater, that's Paramount where we are. Theater, yeah, yes. we're there tonight. And then I'm back on my Christmas tour, as you're seeing there, December 7th in the Shoreline Community College Theater. Oh, wow, great, yeah, and live in concert. Yeah, and that's my Perfect own show, timing. so I'm very excited about that. And you can order this Christmas time from Damien McGinty on his website. Now it's also on Spotify. Yes. Thank you again for coming. Thank you, and I can confirm I will not be wearing that suit at that concert. <laughs> So there you are. Oh, you can pull it off. <laughs> but thank you. Thanks for having me. Oh, our pleasure. It. Liz, over to you.